to my channel. It is your girl Gigi with Gigi Let's BD2, and we are back with another Shop My Stash video. Finally, y'all, I am so ready to switch out these products and pull new products. I have, um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys know my journey. I have moved, so this is my new bathroom and my new setup for my Shop My Stash. My makeup is just now up here. And then I also keep this drawer right here open for bigger palettes. So we're actually going to start right there. I just want to show you really quick. I got my brushes here. I am going to wash my brushes before I start using any new products. So these three palettes that are in here, I'm going to keep in here for now. The Blend Burning Surge and the Nomad palette. I actually need these to do an Instagram challenge. So I'm going to keep those in. And then also, once I'm done using these, though, I'm going to put them back in my collection um, and then continue to use the rest of the Shop My Stash. So this is Mothership for Decadence. And I just pulled this in. So I'm gonna keep this in and I'm gonna continue to use this for the next month. So this is gonna stay in for the whole rotation. These are only gonna stay in until I finish the Instagram challenge and then I'm gonna put them back. So I'll just go from bottom to top here. So. This bottom drawer has face palettes, lip products, setting sprays. So I pretty much tried to arrange this in the order that I do my makeup, but I'm kind of going backwards. So I've got all these products here, this Ofra palette, and I'm gonna open these up on my bed so you can see this. But all of this is gonna come out with the exception of the lip liners and this spray right here. I use this, sorry, let me turn this around. I use this to uh, foil shadows. So with the exception of that, everything in here is coming out. Look at how well I have done with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Y'all, I'm almost done with this, but I've been using this forever. I'm ready to switch it out. This is my complexion drawer. Y'all, these, so I pulled in these Mora powders. I have traveled with this makeup. Y'all, I've been using this makeup for like two and a half months. I have traveled to New Jersey with this makeup, so I am ready to switch it out. Um, these Bite Beauty, oh my God, these Bite Beauty. Oh, I'm so sad that they are going out of business, but these foundations have been everything. If you have, if you follow me on Instagram, if you're not, you need to be. Literally every photo that I have posted since I have moved, I have been wearing this combination right here and it is gorgeous. So yes, I love all of this, but it's all going to come out with the exception of the three mascaras that I have in here because I want to use these um I want to use these until they're finished I'll have to look and see um I'll have to look and see so I might switch these out I might keep these in until they're until they're done and then the top drawer this is my eye drawer so I have lashes back here and then I have these palettes primer this is a um pigment from um this is a pastel multi-chrome pigment this is going to stay in I need this for I need this for that Instagram challenge I'm doing. And then I just have this little container right here with some more eye products, which this is um this isn't going anywhere going anywhere either. This has brow products, eyeliner, lash glue, my lash tools, all of that. So all of this is gonna stay in. I think there's a eye uh sharpener back there. So next glitter glue. So this stuff is gonna stay in here until um I, I'm just gonna switch things out as I need them. And the paint, my MAC paint pot and laying low is going to stay in here. The lashes are going to stay, but all of the palettes are going to come out. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take all of this, all the makeup that needs to come out. I'm going to take it out, put it in that container, transfer it over to my bed, open all the palettes, lay everything out so you can see it. And then, um, yeah, we'll get moving on to the next. Right, so I've got everything laid out on the bed for y'all. So... We've got the lip products here, the face palettes. Y'all, this hourglass palette right here, I am so conflicted. I like seriously want to keep this in because I love this thing. I, ha I have used every single thing in here. I know it doesn't even look like it because this is new, but the finishing powder is gorgeous. Both the blushes are gorgeous. The bronzer, I kind of just use as a bronzer topper and the highlighter is fabulous. Like. This little Ofra palette, I just used the bronzer on my nose and that is Rodeo Drive, gorgeous. This is the Odin's Eye 
Soulmate Highlighter Palette. This was a gift. These are stunning. <laughs> like, I'm so sad that I got to put this stuff back, but I got to put it back. The setting powders I was using, blushes I was using, Terra 28. Um, what's this? Wander Beauty Cream Blushes. A Patrick Ty. You already know how I feel about this one. This is in She's Seductive. This one is from Ciate London. In Dusk. I have my concealer. So I have one as a brightener, one as a uh, bronzer. These are the liquid highlighters. Actually, this one I just pulled. Just This one I actually just pulled in. So I think I'm going to keep this one in. But this one right here I've been using like crazy. This is in Gilded Glow. I've been using this one like crazy. And I have the e.l.f. Putty Bronzers. So I have Bronze Bell. And I have Sun Kissed. And I really, really got to use these. And these are fabulous, but again, I've been using them for two and a half months. I'm going to put them back. Foundations, primers. Y'all, this Pure Lease Green Tea Priming Moisturizer is everything. As you can see, I have made really, really nice progress on this. And then here are the eyeshadow palettes. So we have the Ultra Ego Sahara Palette. This is a new addition to my collection. This has been fabulous, especially for doing my daughter's uh, makeup for dance. And just like a really good everyday neutral palette. Oh my God, this quad right here from Pat McGrath. Everything. This Viseart palette. I went ahead and rearranged it. It didn't look like this when I got it. So I put all the mattes on top and all the shimmers and satins on the bottom. We have the ColourPop Baroque palette. And then these are the color stories for the Harajuku palette, Len Bunny Surge, Mothership 4. So once again, these three palettes are going back in that big drawer. I need these for a challenge and that's going to stay in. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert the photos that I have done with looks that I have done using all these products and then we will get to the good part. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in my collection. Oh, actually no, I'm not gonna put it all back yet. I'm gonna put it in this back in this container so that it stays separate. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into my drawers and pick out new makeup to use for the next month. All right, so now we're at my armoires. And um, if you have seen any of my Shop My Stash videos, then you know I like to start with pulling my eyeshadow first, and then I will build the rest of my Shop My Stash around the palettes. And because I do not have um, a whole entire cart to put makeup on, I have to be very strategic and very cutthroat about how I pull for this. So I'm gonna start at the top drawer right here, and I'm only gonna pull two palettes from here. So I'm gonna go with, um, cinnamon. I think I want the Warrior Three palette. And then I'm gonna get my neutral palette from up here as well, which is going to be from ColourPop. Sorry, let me go back. No, not Stone Cold, where's the other one? Yes, this one right here the Bare Necessities palette. Okay, going into the first drawer right here. I'm gonna start over here. I need to do better about pulling from my smaller eyeshadow palettes and my singles. So I'm gonna pull some stuff out of here. First, I'm gonna grab the neon orange palette from Huda Beauty. I know we're getting into fall, but y'all know how I do. I don't follow the rules and I'm feeling some more bright, colorful looks. I also want to pull this beautiful Juvia's Place 
um, the berries palette that was gifted to me by my girl, Miss, the one and only Miss Jackie Taylor. So we are going to pull that one. And I think there was another one I wanted to pull out of here. Let me just, let me just oh, make yeah. sure. I needed a single shadow. So I wanted to pull ColourPop a little quirky. So that's Goodbye Butterfly. Yeah, a little quirky. I wanted to pull this one to use with the, uh, for some nude looks. And then over here in my special, my little sparkly things, I'm gonna pull these two right here. Um, this one is in Regal and this one is in Pursuit. So I'm gonna pull those as well. These are my eyeliners. I'm just gonna pull those as I need them. Right, now we're gonna go to drawer number two, which is the Big Daddy drawer. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. Again, I've already, I already have Mothership 4 pulled, so let's pull some more palettes. So I want to use a newer acquisition. This is the e.l.f. Earth and Ocean palette. I got this from TJ Maxx for $5.99, so I'm going to pull that one. Um, I also want to pull one of my BHs. Let's see. This one right here, yeah, looking like a snack. So let's grab that one. And then I also wanna grab my ColourPop Ooh La La. This is like the all pink palette. I haven't used this in forever. So yeah, I'm gonna grab those that one. Um, I also wanna grab my Yoma Beauty. This is the Black Magic Carnival palette. Um, yeah, we're going to use this one. I'll take it out of the sleeve and I'll have it laid out on the bed. So we're going to pull that one as well. Okay, now we are on drawer number three, which is exclusively my complexion drawer. So first let's pull some foundations. Um, right away, I want to pull my pure Love Your Selfie foundation. And this is in the shade of DN2. Um, I also want to pull something that I have not tried yet that I found at TJ Maxx. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation, and this is in the shade N85. And then I want to pull something to mix with either one of those, something that might be a little bit lighter. Um, usually, should I do really beauty? Should I do rare beauty? Yeah, this one is actually a little bit um, lighter than these two. I don't know if you guys can tell. Because these two these two um, shades right here are pretty similar. So I'm going to pull the Rare Beauty one. And this is in the shade, what's the shade? 380W. It's a little bit lighter. And I can't wear it by itself. So I'm going to pull the Rare Beauty to mix with these two foundations right here. All right, now on to concealer. So I'm actually gonna pull some concealers that I have not tried yet. So the first one being the, not uh, this one right here. I found this at Walmart. This is the Essence uh, Camouflage Concealer. I'm gonna pull that one. Uh, also, I wanna try the Tarte, the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. I love the regular um, shape tape. But I'm gonna try the Ultra Creamy one. It's a little bit more hydrating and then I want one more that I haven't tried yet and I think it's like down here. Yeah, there it is, I see it. It's still in the box. This one right here I got from like an Ipsy add-on. This is the Dose of Colors. Um, I think it's called the Meet Your Hue and this is in medium tan. So these will be my three concealers. For my powders, I'm only gonna do two and I'm, I'm gonna switch over to my loose powders because I've been using my pressed powders for a while. So. I want to go with my Revlon Photo Ready Candid. Um, this one is gonna be the one that I'm gonna use to set under my eyes. And then I also have this one here and in 003. I think this is 003 Deep. And I'm gonna use this one to set my face. And this one is a little bit lighter and a little more neutral. And I think it'll balance out the warm foundations that I have pulled. So we're gonna pull those two powders. All right, on to drawer number four. Um, I don't need anything over here, but I am going to pull two new, two, two brow products. I'm, I decided to switch out um, my Sephora brow pencil that I was using, and I'm going to pull this Item Beauty Brow Chow. And I also want to use it with 
um, a brow gel, the Eye Method brow gel right here, and this is just in black. So I'm gonna switch out the, the pencil and the gel that I was using for these. And then over here, I do need a liquid highlighter. So to go with some of the more pinky tone looks that I wanna do, I'm gonna grab, I think this one, in Brosy and Ready. And then I also want one of these Nomads. And I want a specific, well, yeah, this one right here. Um, in, what is it called? Balmora Beach. The next drawer, which is the final drawer on this side, which is my bronzer, blush, and highlighter drawer. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time in here picking out some products. So the first thing that I wanna do is pick out these two black opal cream to powder foundations. I use these as bronzers. So I have hazelnut, and then I have, um, sorry, carob, and the pillows. And then I also want, um, what did I say? I think I wanted Fenty, Co Fenty Coco Naughty. Yeah, I want Fenty Coco Naughty. And then I'm also gonna pull the makeup. Uh, this is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in, in row. I'm also gonna pull here one of my LYS cream blushes. I don't want Confident. I want the other one. <laughs> in self-love i want this blush right here from beautinique in peach um there was another blush i wanted let me go over here i wanted milani i want one of, i wanted one of my milani blushes in bella rose which i think is back here Yeah, Bella Rose, I wanted that one. And then I think there was one more that I wanted. I just have to decide which one it now was. Now I remember. I wanted this Steve Laurent blush right here. I haven't used this in forever. This is in the shade I'm blushing. So we're gonna pull that. And then I also wanted to pull a highlighter, a powder highlighter out of here. And I'm gonna go with this one right here, the Annette 69 highlighter from Beauty Creek. I'm gonna go with one more blush and that's Kylie, we're going shopping. So now we're gonna dip into this other thing. Y'all look at my dog, looking out the window. Random bruise cameo. I'm actually not pulling out of this top drawer that I'll just show you. This top drawer just has like my like bigger palettes. I'm not pulling anything out of there right now. So we're gonna go into this drawer, which just has my primers and backup powders. So for primers, I wanna try the Cover FX Gripping Primer. I have not tried that yet. I also wanna use a really hydrating primer for the matte foundation, which is the Touch and Soul Prime Essence. And then I also need a mattifying primer for my T-Zone, so I'm gonna pick this Cover Girl True Base Business. This is the gray mattifying primer with clay. All right, now we're gonna go to my face palette drawer. So right away, I wanna pull, oh, let's start from over here. Which one did I wanna pull from over here? Um, I don't think I wanna pull anything from there. I wanted one of my Morphe palettes. I think it's the ER. Yeah, no, those are the blush palettes. I wanted the ER palette. Yeah, that one right there. Um, I definitely wanted the my Sephora Lily Lashes um, uh, palette. And then I wanted this BH Vanilla Truffle. And then also over here, my highlighting Milani Luminoso palette. Okay, for my lashes drawer, I did wanna grab one pair of lashes out of here to try out. And these were gifted to me by my girl, Jackie Taylor. These are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. So I wanna pull these to try in addition as a more dramatic. Okay, now we are on to my gloss drawer and I'm gonna pull one of my Mora lip oils 
in touch of pink. I also want Ruby Milk. Is it this one? No, that's that's pretty please. I think it's this one. Ruby Milk. Yeah, I wanted that one. Um, I wanted to do one of my Maybelline liquid glosses. was called amber that stone I'm pretty sure it was this one yeah amber let's pull those three glosses I'm gonna put one more gloss out of here and it's underneath this it's from bare minerals and I believe the color is called hot shot so I'm gonna have to look for that one it's like a yeah this one right here hot shot I'm gonna pull that one too. We're at the liquid lipstick and lipstick drawer and I'm only gonna pull three out of here. So first one I'm gonna pull is, is this Morphe Sweet Tea? No, that's goodness. I wanna pull Morphe Sweet Tea cause I just got it and I wanna try it. It's being sweet, so it's this one. Yep, Morphe Sweet Tea, we're gonna pull that one. I also want this one right here, this is my Sephora Luster Matte in Mulberry Luster. And then I also want to pull one from here. So to find it, it's from Becca. Underneath my mask. Yeah, it's underneath my mask. And it's in the shade Sorbet, like a pinky, like a pinky one. Yeah, this one right here in Sorbet. The very last drawer is my setting spray drawer. So I'm gonna pull out two brand new setting sprays to try. I'm gonna try the Cover Effects High Performance. I bought this a while back, still haven't tried it yet. And then I also wanna try this uh, You Can Be Mattifying set Setting Spray. I'm gonna put this in the center. So we're gonna try these brand new setting sprays this go around. Okay, here is one final look at everything. So there's the face palettes. I opened everything up so you can see all the color stories. There's all my lippies bronzers, blushes, highlighters, foundation, powder, lashes, additional lashes, primers. And then here are all the color stories for the eyeshadow palettes. I did make one edit. I pulled out the Juvia's Place Warrior 3 because um, I pulled this one in and I'm gonna use this one instead. So I don't know if you can see a theme. There's a lot of pinks. You know, I've got some neutrals, but I got a lot of pinks and some accent colors, pinks, orange, all of that stuff. So yeah, I definitely wanted to switch it up for this go around. So let me go ahead and see if I can get all of this makeup in my shop, my stash container in the back. All right, y'all, I got everything in. So let me just show you. Um, I went ahead and threw away the two uh, sponges I was using because they were kind of falling apart. So I picked two new sponges. I put the larger palettes down here. I only had to put two of them down here, the Earth and Ocean and the Bare Necessities. And again, uh, the these two palettes are gonna come out once I do that Instagram challenge. So I only have the three palettes down here. That's this drawer here, all the new products in it. This drawer is kind of heavy, but I got everything in here. I might, I might move some stuff around, but this is what I got going right here. And then here is what is in the top drawer. So yes, that concludes this edition of the Shop My Stash. If you are new here and you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, make sure that you follow me on my other social medias. I'm Gigi Loves Beauty 2. We'll put the handle right here. I'm more active on Instagram than I am over here. So if you want to keep up with me in between these videos, make sure you follow me over there. Um, also make sure you have your notifications on so that you don't miss any content that I drop to all of my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for continuing to support me and all the newbies that come on board. I appreciate all of you as well. I love you guys so much and I will catch you on the next Shop My Stash. Bye. Well, I